It's that time of year again. Games I want to play in 2024. Now last year when I made my list in 2023, I didn't do a very good job of actually following through with the games that I picked out. So this year, I my New Year's resolution is to make this list and try to follow through. <laughs> and so some of the games on this list are going to be a little bit of a repeat from my last year's list, but that's because I really do want to play them. And I'm going to make sure this year that I truly dedicate my time to them. Now, my list will not be terribly long because I do want to leave room for some freedom to grab some other games that might sound interesting or some new releases or any other reason. So let's get started. First one was on my list last time, Skies of Arcadia for the Dreamcast. The reason I want to play this is because Scott made a video about his first playthrough and he loved the game and he's not a guy that gets into RPGs, or at least not back then. And I'm kind of in the same boat. I think RPGs are really fascinating and I, I do want to be a part of that group where I really enjoy them. So I was hoping that Skies of Arcadia could also be my gateway into the RPG world. So that's the first one on my list. Dragon Ball Kakarot for the PlayStation 4. Fem Trooper uh, ended up talking this game up quite a few times, and so I ended up buying it. And I was, and I guess am, a Dragon Ball Z fan. I remember watching it on Cartoon Network. I remember loving all of the fight scenes and the storylines. And, you know, I played a couple of Dragon Ball Z games, like Dragon Ball Z Budokai on the GameCube. So this apparently is following that storyline, and it was a very entertaining game for her. So I would like to play that game this year as well. One of the games on my list, it's there because I never gave the franchise really much of a chance, but I also grew up as a Nintendo kid. I never owned a Sega Genesis, so I'd really like to play all the way through Sonic 2. And the reason it took me this long is because growing up, whenever I did get my hands on a Genesis, I would play it how I thought I was supposed to play, which is blast through the level, go as fast as you can. But really, Sonic 2 is a platformer, and I've never treated it that way. So I'd like to go back and play the game and play it as a platformer and actually experience it for what it really was trying to be. I'd like to continue with my progression of one of my favorite series, the Yakuza series. I'd like to play Yakuza Kiwami 2. I've played Zero, I've played the first one, and I took a hiatus for a while other than Yakuza Like a Dragon, which if you watch my previous video, you'll know how that goes. But I want to go ahead and keep progressing through the series. I own pretty much all of the games, and so I need to start making some progression here. So Yakuza Kiwami 2. Next on my list, one game of the year in 2023, Boulder's Gate 3. Now, I'm not really into that style of game, but this one looks really entertaining. It sounds like it's got an amazing story. And I appreciate d and I played it a couple of times, and so it seems like the perfect fit. So I'm hoping to pick that up pretty soon this year and give that one a go. Introducing the next generation from Nintendo. Mario RPG for the SNES. So not the remake, but the original. I really enjoyed the graphics. I've tried playing this game in the past, and I thought it was really charming. I think the game did hand my butt to me a few times, and that might have been why I let it go. But this time I really want to push through, play the original, and if I enjoy it as much as I think I'm going to, maybe I can go ahead and pick up the remake and then play that later on in life as well. I have decided that my first Metroid game I'm going to try to play through is Metroid for the SNES. Uh, I've been thinking about it a lot. I've got different versions of Metroid. I've got the Switch. You know, I've got it on GameCube. I think I'd like to start with the SNES. And I did dabble in it a little bit last night, and I, I really like it. Like... The Super Nintendo is such a badass system. That game, I swear to God, that console was ahead of its time. The music, the ambiance, the dread. It was, it's a good game already and I've barely started. Now, am I gonna have a little bit of trouble getting through it? Probably, I'm not really great at the Metrovania type games, but I'm already enjoying it and I'm excited to play through it. 
This one was a recommendation from Square Peg's channel, Need for Speed Outrun. I'm a big fan of specifically Need for Speed Most Wanted. I think the Need for Speed games are either a hit or a miss, and so he recommended this game, and I'm open to trying a new Need for Speed game, because replaying the same one over and over again does get a little bit old. Another repeat, Red Dead Redemption. I really want to get to the second one, but I'd like to play the first one first. I'm afraid that if I try to jump to the second one, that when I get used to that gameplay or the graphics, that I'm not wanna, I'm not going to want to go back. And so I'd like to start with Red Dead Redemption, which means busting out my PS3, sitting down and playing this GTA-style cowboy game and, and probably having a great time. After I finish Metroid on the SNES, I would like to give Metroid Prime a try. Now, I have it for the GameCube, and I also have the remaster for the Switch, so I could use your guys' help. Which version do you think I should play if I've never played it before? Is one superior to the other? Should I stick with the traditional way it was meant to be played? Or were there enough improvements in the remake that you think that that would be the better route to go? So let me know in the comments down below. And last but not least, can't leave the Switch out of the party. No More Heroes 2 is a game that I picked up a while ago, and I would like to try to play through this game. I like the anime style. I think it's got a pretty, like, quirky storyline. I haven't actually looked into it too much, but I've owned the game for a little while, and I think it's worth playing through. So those are the games that I'm planning on playing in 2024, with a little bit of room to play some other games. Now, will I beat all of these games? Who knows? Maybe one of these games will end up being my game of the year, but I'm excited to try to play through these games and, and see what I discover and hopefully grow in my taste as a gamer. Let me know in the comments down below what games are you guys planning on playing this year? What is on your to-do list? Are there, are there any games that are coming up that you're excited that are going to be coming out in the next year? Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget, there's a pixelated world waiting up there for you.